Now I am so excited today. This is a fabulous project we're about to do. Now my name is Lynn, but I'm better known as Nana Lynn by all the children on my classes. I am a professional artist and a qualified teacher and I've been teaching for many, many years. I'd like to make my content in my drawing classes as accessible as possible for all learners. And I would appreciate any feedback on how I can do that in the future. And if you would like auto-generated subtitles on this video, please go to the three dots in the corner and select captions. Okay. Anyway, let's get started on this fun drawing, shall we? See you in the studio. Bye-bye. Hello, children. I hope you've got your paper and pencil and rubber already because we're about to start another fun drawing. Now, don't forget, you can pause the video anytime you want and catch up with me. And today, we're going to draw Susie the fish. Now, Susie is a little fish that lost her eyesight when she was quite young. But you know what? She's got a lovely, fabulous little guide dog fish that helps her get around and it gives her lots of confidence so she can go anywhere she wants, anytime she wants. Now, we need to start off this drawing. So we're going to do this very, very strange little shape. I think you can manage to do that with me, can't you? And the next thing we're going to draw is her hair. So start at the top with a little line right at the top of this funny little shape. Uh, there you go, just pop it in there. Can you see? Just a little straight line. And now we're gonna bring that curve all the way around. And now a little straight line up to her body because that's what her fish body is. It's a little body, that funny little shape. Now let's do the other part of her hair. She's got a very nice haircut. There we go, we're gonna bring that curve in there and another curve behind like this, a big curve because her hair is beautiful. Now, because that little line is inside there, we need to rub that out because that wouldn't show, would it? Because the hair would cover part of her face. Let's draw that in really nicely now. There we go, there we go, join that up there. That's her hair. Now she needs a pair of glasses. Let's do a little tiny curve in the, in the middle of her face where her nose is and some big round circles for her glasses. There, two big circles. And a little line where it would join to her ears to hold them on. Now I think she should have some really nice lips. So a little tiny curve and a little another one and another one and a little line underneath and the bottom part of the lip as well. There, oh, she's got such beautiful lips, perfect for lipstick. Okay, now one of her arms, which is like a fin because she's a fish, isn't it? So a little curvy line and a nice little curve inside that and another little curve that goes up to her body. There you go, how's that? We better give her a walking cane so that she can feel the ground as she's walking along so she doesn't fall over. That helps her, doesn't it? it? Gives her so much more confidence to have a cane to walk with. There we go. Now, there, how are you doing with your cane? I bet you did that really well. Not too difficult, is it? Now let's give her the other fin, which is her other, like her other arm. A nice little line, another little curve line, and another little curve. There, how's she coming on? Isn't she looking good? Now we're going to draw her fins right down here at the bottom. She uses her fins to walk along the ground just like she uses her walking stick to help her. There. Have you managed to draw her fins? They're not too difficult, are they? Now we're going to draw Charlie, her guide dog fish. A curve up there underneath her fin because she's given him a little stroke and a little lump out at the side where his nose is going to be. There, how's that so far? Now, we need to start to draw his body. Now he is a fish, even though he's a dogfish. He needs to have a big long tail like this. And another big curve that comes all the way around. And now we draw his fins. There we go, 
He's got lovely fins too. Can you draw those fins like that? I'll bet you can. How about his ear? He's got a nice little ear. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is draw his eye. There's only one eye showing because he's on the side, isn't he? He's not facing us. So a little semicircle, a line below, a little couple of little curves inside, and that's his eye. Now, a little cute nose there, a little button nose, and a smile. There, isn't he? A nice, happy little dogfish. <laughs> there, and some fins. He needs some fins to help him swim along. There you go. That's a really nice guide dogfish. Now behind here we need to draw in the ground, the sandy bottom part of the sea. Now on the ground we're going to draw these wibbly wibbly lines. There we go. Looks like seaweed, doesn't it? Wibbly wibbly lines. I love doing wibbly wibbly lines. Let's do another one over this other side, much bigger. There we go. And another little one in here. Yay! And one more wibbly little line here. We probably ought to give them some bubbles because that's what happens under the sea when they breathe or they make all these lovely bubbles. So we do lots and lots of bubbles going all the way up to the top of the picture. And there we go. I think we've had a nice time doing this drawing, don't you? Are you ready to start colouring in yours now? I am. I'm going to use pencil crayons. How about you? You can use anything you want, but I'm using pencil crayons and I'm just using this turquoisey blue to do a little bit of colour into the background, into the water area. There, not going to colour it all in, just lots of little bits of colour. There, isn't that fun? And now I'm going to colour in the sand at the bottom. I think I will use yellow. That's a good colour for sand, don't you think? Where do you think Susie is going? Do you think she's just taking a walk or do you think she's going to visit a friend? I think she might be going to visit a friend. And we maybe ought to draw that friend next time. Now I'm going to colour in her dogfish. Oh yes, I think I'll colour him in brown. I like the colour brown. What I'm going to do is on his belly is press harder with my pencil crayon to make the colour brown look darker because that's where there'll be a little bit of shadow and shade and that helps to make him look a little bit more rounded and solid, a little bit more three-dimensional. You've heard me say that word before, haven't you? Now, see how just by pressing a little bit harder it gives the shadow a little bit more strong colour, doesn't it? it? Makes him look a little bit more solid. There, doesn't that work well? And the next thing I want to do is colour in Susie the fish, her body. I'm going to use a purple colour and I will press harder on one side so she looks three-dimensional as well. Now, I wonder what colours you're doing yours? You can always put photograph of your drawings onto my Facebook page called Art with Nana Lynn and then I can see your drawings. Ask your adults to do that if you want to. I'm happy to see your drawings. I love it in fact. There she is. She's got all her shadow coloured in as well. Now I'm going to colour in her hair. I think I'll use black. I like black. So I'm going to colour it all in and you can use any colour you want. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put some lines through the hair as well to make her hair look much more interesting. There you are. Can you see those strong lines? That's where I've pressed harder with the pencil crayon as well. Now I'm going to do circle, circle, circle inside her glasses. Not pressing very hard at the moment, just gentle circles and it's a light colour. Now I'm going to make the part of the glasses much darker and do these strong lines inside and that's pressing harder with the pencil as well. We'll do the other side as well. Circle, 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 just not pressing very hard. And then some strong lines up and down pressing hard. And that's her glasses colored in. There we go. Now I'm going to use this nice pretty color for her lips, as if she's got lipstick on, yay. And now I'm gonna color her fins. All of them are gonna be black, just like her hair. There we go. There you go. Better give the little 
dogfish a colour for his eyes. I think I'll colour them blue. There we go. I think now I've coloured in all of my drawing. And what I want to do now is outline everything with black felt tip pen to make it, the drawing look even better. And there you are. Doesn't it look better now with felt tip pen on? And you know what? It's really good practice to draw on top of all your pencil lines with a felt tip pen. It really makes a difference and it helps you draw better and it helps you write better as well. Isn't that fun? Doesn't the drawing look good? I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to sign your initials or your full name on your drawing. You're a little artist too. So I hope you enjoyed your class with me today and you are looking forward to the next class because I know I am. Now I'd like to ask you a big favour. Would you ask your adult to like my channel and share my channel so other children can enjoy it too? And would you ask them to subscribe? I would be very, very grateful for the support. Anyway, thank you again for joining my class and I hope to see you soon. So bye-bye for now. Bye-bye from Nana Lynn. Bye-bye. <laughs>